Hey everyone, it's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts and the next installment of Tip of the Week. So today is a really simple one, a quick one, but today we're going to be talking about this new based function that's a part of Pro Stitcher Premium Beta. So I love the fact that they have added this simple, simple button to our Pro Stitchers. So I am going to flip the camera around again, do as best as I can because I'm here by myself today and show you just a couple of hints that I've been using with the based function and then I'll do it really quickly in simulation but it's pretty simple I think you're gonna get the gist of it all right let me turn it around and show you okay so here we are and I'm at the quilt beautiful log cabin quilt that I'm working on today and I'm just about to baste over here on the right hand side but before I do that I wanted to just mention a couple of things about tip of the week first of all I do practice what I teach so you will see in the batting over there is a pin so that's what we talked about last week was putting that pin in to help us with placement so I do that myself and on this pattern it was very very helpful because this pattern has a very deep uh, gap distance and so it was really helping me see how close to get it to the back bar also I've set up this panto very very tall so I needed to get it far enough back but not too far the other thing is I've been using the move function to do my basting along the top edge now I'm past that so I can't show you that but I love 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 that move function okay so let's head up on to the monitor and the first thing that I wanted to mention is that you can still change your stitch per inch in the regular manner that we used to do it, right? Under the gear, over to stitch per inch. It's just that they have added this baste button now. Okay, so you can toggle it on or you can toggle it off. Now, you can still leave the baste function turned off and use your stitches per inch and go down to as low as your machine will go. I used to actually baste in five stitches per inch. I liked that a lot. But now that they've added the baste function, I've gotten myself used to going back and using quarter inch baste on the sides of my quilt. But if you wanna just continue to change your stitches per inch, that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna go ahead and change mine back to 13. And yes, I really do stitch in 13. <laughs> it might be tighter than some of you do, but uh, that's what I like to do. Okay, so the other way that you can change your stitches per inch, if you're on one of the newer machines where the console is built into the tablet, is you can go up into your console, click on the machine that you have, and you can change your stitches per inch here. However, if you change your stitches per inch here, you're going to have to remember to go back and change them in your Pro Stitcher stitches per inch. So I believe this is one of the reasons why they added the baste function, so that we don't really have to mess with the console. Let me just, again, turn it back to 13 in the console, and you'll see that it correspondingly changed it in Pro Stitcher. So if you don't want to have to do those those toggling back and forth to different stitches per inch manually all the time, you can use the new baste function. All right, so my first tip is to assign the baste button to one of your buttons here on the left-hand side. I will show you how to do that in simulation. Okay, so having it assigned to the button just makes it really, really obvious that baste is turned on. Now the other thing on my screen, just wanted to let you know that I have the setting turned off where the preview box is going to pop up. Okay, so I've turned that off. We talked about that in my live feed just recently. But what, what I do all the time, and in order for us to be able to quilt, we have to go to the Pro Stitcher quilt function. And if you're doing that, you can now see that the baste button is right next door to the quilt button. Okay, so right there, before you do anything else, really, really simple to just undepress the baste button. And then you should automatically know that whatever your previous stitches per inch was on, that's what it reverts back to. Okay, for me, it's 13. So let's go under the gear, into the stitches per inch, 
and there you see that it's 13, okay? If, I'm, if I need to do basting, which I need to do right now, I'm just going under Pro Stitcher. Actually, I'm so used to going to Pro Stitcher, but I really could have just hit the Baste button. And now you're gonna see that over in the gear, stitches per inch, that I'm in basting, but my stitches per inch, although it's grayed out, it's still at 13. So I can undepress baste here, I can undepress baste here, or if I'm in Pro Stitcher Quilt, ready to actually quilt, I can very easily see that baste is turned on, that's not what I want, so I can undepress it right there. All right? Let me go ahead and take you inside a simulation. I know that's a little bit easier for me and the camera's a little bit steadier in simulation, right, when I'm doing screen capture. So let's do that and I'll meet you right back here. All right, everybody, here we are inside a simulation. Here is just a representation of the quilt that I was working on, and this is the panto. And this panto is called Diagonal Plaid Bias Cut, and you can find that on Urban Elements. Okay, so the first thing is, you can see in my simulation, I do not have my base button assigned over here on the left-hand side. And I think I'm going to go ahead and assign it to that button. I don't really need the clear all button right there. I can easily go to file clear all. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign this button to the base button. So to do that, we wanna come on over to the gear function and under the display tab, here is where we assign those buttons along the left hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and click assign. I'm using a mouse with a roller ball on it so when you're over here on the left hand side, if you can't see the buttons that are at the bottom, just try hovering over here on the left and then rolling down with your mouse. So here's the clear all button that I don't want. I'm gonna go ahead and click the little arrow that pops open what my options are and here is the base button right there. Click on the little arrow again and then undepress the assign button. And now I have based assigned to my button. So that's how you do it in simulation, it's also the the exact same way you do it at your machine okay gear display assign okay now we talked about at the machine how I use the basting at a quarter of an inch so to set your basting option you're gonna need to go onto the gear over to stitches per inch come down here depress the baste button, and then here is where you're gonna set what you want your basting to be. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my basting on a quarter of an inch. Okay, now in simulation, that doesn't really matter. I'm not really ever gonna be basting in simulation, but again, that's exactly how you do it at your tablet. Gear, stitches per inch, come on over to baste, depress the baste button, and then adjust it either higher or lower depending on what you want. Okay, now you will see that over at the quilt, I just grabbed my machine, got it into position here at the edge of the quilt, got my bottom thread up, and then when I was in Pro Stitcher, quilt menu right next to it is based so I can see that I turned the base button on I think in the video you saw me hit the screen to turn it on right there so I know I'm in the base function and then I just came down the edge of my quilt and ran my basting over there okay now you'll also notice probably that I did not use the channel lock feature I just don't generally do that while I'm quilting, but I know many of you do, especially if you float your quilts. So if you want to channel lock while you're doing the base button, well then you're just going to get your machine into position, depress channel lock, make sure you're on base, and then again, you're just going to come, come down the way like that, okay? We talked about at the video that if you want to, you can absolutely just not use the base function. Come over and do the gear stitches per inch and change this. And I mentioned that I used to like to baste in five, so I would always change it to five and then come back. But many times I would forget 
that I was on five by the time I was ready to start quilting. So that's why having the Pro Stitcher going to Pro Stitcher Quilt and having that Baste button right next to the Quilt button should be a pretty good indicator for you. Are you in Baste? Or are you in your regular stitches per inch? Same with having it down here, okay? When you have it turned on, it's pretty apparent that it's on. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to depress baste. I know that I'm already set to quarter inch baste. my thread Ooh, my scissors are dull <laughs> all right I'm gonna undepress baste it's right there on my sidebar and my panto is already positioned I am ready to quilt so there you go, quick and easy. You know, you guys, I've said it a lot, but I'll say it again today. I love the fact that with Pro Stitcher, there's so many different ways to do things. If you want to channel lock with the channel locks, do that. If you want to channel lock with your regular stitches per inch, do that. If you want to channel lock with a baste length, do that. If you want to use the new baste function, do that. If you want to channel lock while you're basting, do that. There are so many different ways, and I'm very much an advocate of sharing some of the ways that I do things, but also advocating for you to do what works for you. Okay? All right, this is MK. Until next time, from my studio to yours, happy quilting. Bye-bye.